Welcome to Nike's test lab. To answer a question I've been wondering for years. In 2019, I watched Eliud Kipchoge become the first person ever to run a marathon in under two hours. That is four minutes and 35 seconds per mile for 26.2 miles. Here's what that speed looks like for most people. This was supposed to be impossible, but he did it. And while the world celebrated Kipchoge's record, in professional running, all eyes turned to these. He was wearing special prototype shoes built to make him run faster. In fact, studies showed that this design helped runners at the time go two to 3% faster than the next fastest shoe. And regulators started saying that this shoe threatened the integrity of the sport. But why this shoe? If you look back at the history of running shoes, you'll see that over the last hundred years, they've gotten a lot better than two to 3%. Early running shoes looked like this. They're basically loafers with spikes. People can run a lot faster in basically any running shoe today. So why was this shoe all of a sudden so controversial? Let me show you the answer. This is the newest version of that same shoe design, and I'm about to cut it open. So Hopefully. this is the successor of what Eliud Kachogi beat the two-hour marathon in. Yeah. Awesome. It's a culmination of all kinds of technological development. It's a thing of beauty, and we're going to destroy it. There's no chance I can put it through, is there? You could guide me. If I lose a finger, it's my fault. Uh, Lindsay, what do you think? Well, we do have her on camera saying it will be her fault. If I cut my finger off, I'm saying it to camera. It's not like his fault. Sweet Jesus. No, this is fine. Come on, it's fine. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Lots of companies now make their own version of a super shoe. And people say they've changed running sports forever. But how exactly? At a high level, every super shoe today has three key sections. The upper, which holds your foot, the outsole, which hits the ground, and the midsole, which mostly determines how much of the energy that a runner exerts down into the ground is returned to boost them into their next stride. This is called energy return, and it's a huge deal in running. Nike's new super shoe specifically maximized energy return by building in a way taller stack of new cushy foam and a carbon fiber plate that acts like a lever, springing the runner forward, which outside the shoe looks like this right here. They even included special air pockets for extra bounce. Before super shoes, a good energy return rate was about 60 to 65%. Now it's more like 80%, way more of the runner's energy that they get to reuse. I wanted to show you what that energy return feels like, but to do it, Nike didn't just give me their shoes. 